You're 100% right. And right before you left this comment, I saw this on somebody else's page, Zach the Snack, who has a whole free Britney playlist. Go check it out. So apparently this studio that she's dancing in in Maui is the same studio that Britney was at during the conservatorship, whose owner is linked to Calvary Chapel, which the place is approved by Jamie, Jody, and T-Con. I don't know who T-Con is. But if Britney was a free woman, she wouldn't still be going here. 100%. If Britney was free, so much would have changed. One, she would be actually driving around. We never see her out anywhere. Two, she would be speaking to us somehow besides her fucking Instagram. Three, she would be getting her Starbucks. And four, she would not be posting fucking nudes, okay? This is all signs of someone who is still under control, who is still being abused, who is not free, and is still under the conservatorship. And I cannot believe that the people bought that she was really free. So let's look at some more stuff. Oh, she was with her sweet friend and she had a really great day. That was her filming the video where she said she was a sweet friend, but the thing is, she isn't with a sweet friend, she's with a security guard. If that's a sweet friend, then I really don't know what a sweet friend is. This is another picture of her with her security guard. Notice the little bag. And here's another picture, and this says Black Box Security. So if Britney Spears is working with Black Box, there is no way in hell that she is free. That is the same security team that bugged her house and monitored her phones, computers, everything. I do really try to stay away from this video was posted. Something that I noticed is that she has a black eye. Some fans have even resorted to saying that she could potentially have low iron. This woman has left a really abusive conservatorship and in the past year, nobody has heard anything directly from her. Her Instagram, as I've stated previously, is not run by her. And I really doubt that this book that's coming out is even written by her. Here's a picture that I find super interesting. This is a woman that we do not speak of on my TikTok, uh, just living her life. And Matthew Rosengart has made sure that she got away from all of this untouched. The thing that I recently found out is that the law firm that Matthew Rosengart works for, Greenberg Trowig, um, has ties to Britney's past management, Larry Rudolph. This is a tweet that I feel is important. Another post on Britney's Instagram was the magazine covers that she loved and hated. They posted this, and this is literally a fan edit. Like, if you're going to pretend to be this woman, do your research. Okay, this is the picture that he showed where he's like, I don't really like to give life to this. But this is blind items where it's like pretty much secret info, right? One of the doctors who is being interviewed by Congress as a part of his experience with psychological operations for the government, specifically the military and CIA, is mentioned in the second earliest court report as a treating doctor of his of this permanent a-list singer okay guys i knew they were fucking in on it okay so here's the thing you guys know that i believe that this britney's a clone okay her facial features everything is way too different and somebody who actually does face readings also confirmed like this isn't the same person she said it was impossible for someone to go from a round face like she had to a long thin face also with the joker smile where it goes up um she didn't have that before um she said something about how her hooded eyes like they change the shape her eyebrows have changed the shape her nose has changed the shape and the thing is like she didn't get plastic surgery she couldn't do anything they've had her under this conservatorship so she's obviously been cloned and now Zach thinks that she's not in charge of her Instagram and I can see where he's coming from with that but like now if we think that she's a part of the CIA experiment government experiment then what if because I do believe she's giving us hints through her Instagram I mean you guys look at this not the same person whatsoever I don't care how much shit she's been through I mean the smile's completely different the nose the eyes like everything is different she's obviously been cloned but I took this picture of her teeth because this is not her teeth. This is not her teeth at all. Look at this tooth right here. Like, yeah, she has a gap and this one goes up a little bit, but this teeth structure just isn't hers. These were her teeth, okay? Those are not the same teeth at all. Now she recently posted a video of her dancing around in her little studio and look at this. You can see the shadow of the tripod with the camera standing up 
reflecting off of her, which means that there is a camera behind the glass that is filming her. She's also giving signs with her dance moves, and you can see her looking off at someone every time she does her little dances. She's always looking off to the side, like she's like, oh, okay, I'm tired, like, am I done yet? I really do feel like she's being forced to put on these dances because if she canceled her residency and refuses to dance for the public on stage, they will make her dance for the public online. Instagram reels, you get paid for this shit. And if she's under this conservatorship still, they're gonna make her perform like a little funky monkey, especially if she's a fucking CIA experiment. Now I notice she's always pulling her pants down to show off her tattoos, which I, they're just so blurry. I can't tell if the tattoos are exactly the same as before or not. These are the tattoos from original Britney. They look the same, but she's moving around so much and it's so blurry, it's really hard to tell. So I'm gonna play a video of her dancing around and I want you guys to pay attention to the clock that's up on the wall and see how fast the time moves. Okay, so if you guys pay attention to the clock up here, well, it, are, it already skipped, but look how fast the minute hand goes. Look how quickly it moves up. Why is it moving so quickly? If this is supposed to be in real time, why is it moving so fast? I feel like she's giving us maybe a hint about time. Also pay attention to the shadows that are clearly from a glass, not just from a ring light that she's standing in front of. And pay attention to her dance moves because she's been a professional dancer all her life. And I mean, what the fuck are these dance moves? Okay, this is not... This is from an old dance rehearsal. Clearly the woman knows how to dance and I don't know what the fuck is going on here. Also, if she was really free, do you think she would be looking this tore up? She would be getting her nails done. She would be getting her hair done. She would be looking fucking good. And her caption on her video was nails and sadness. Interesting, because I was just talking about her nails. Now, in my last video, a lot of people were asking, why did she change her name to Channel 8? So let me show you another creator's video, your best friend Joshua, and what he had to say about it. Shade Me is back. If you visited Britney's Instagram today, you may be wondering, why is her name Channel 8? Well, you see, she's killing two birds with one stone here. First of all, Channel 8 in Southern California is CBS. And what comes on CBS? Why 60 Minutes, of course. So throwing some effortless shade at Kevin Federline, but that's not all. Channel 8 in Louisiana is Fox. And what's coming to Fox? This stupid reality show starring Britney's sister, Judas Leach. So in one fell swoop, she's knocking them all out. So it looks like she's throwing a lot of shade. Now, earlier I pointed out her teeth, right? And right here she says to find a toothpick would serve interest she's talking about teeth i feel like every post she gives us is a hint so this is what's throwing me off is she in charge of her instagram because she's always giving us a hint or is somebody playing games with us is the real britney gone this is a clone and we're just a big government experiment like what if they're using britney as a big part of this game and seeing if the collective is going to awaken to what the fuck is going on because there was a point where we saw her without the neck tattoo in that picture right there. So literally a few days later, she posed this with the neck tattoo. Also back to the whole eight thing. She will delete posts and repost them eight times. Okay. Also, she put this one and she said eight sideways is infinity or am I making that up? She's giving us a hint for the reality we live in. I honestly feel like she was just bred to be for the system. That's why no one gives a shit about her and her family because she's probably cloned and they want us to leave them alone so they can make money off of her but i think she's gained consciousness and needs to be free 